All right, moving right along here. This is another one I recently did. Uh, this is the Hummer H2 Revell kit, California wheels. Uh, no engine on this one either. Um, but uh, we did do this one, and it's kind of uh, we'll kind of show the box here. Standard, standard. There's the some of the details. Uh, so, without further ado, whoops, I'll show you how it turned out. There it is. There's my 2004 Hummer H2. Now, you might be thinking, why would a guy like Big D make it pink? Well, I made this model for my wife. It's her dream to have a pink Hummer. So that's what we did for her. And uh, she really likes it. She works at a, um, in, in a cubicle and she's going to have it displayed at her desk. So I'm kind of excited about that. Um, let's get it a little tighter here. I tinted the windows on it. Uh, that was my first time doing that. That went well. I thought that turned out good. Looks nice. Um, the uh, what else can I show here? Yeah, we'll get in kind of close on the window here. Get in a little closer on that. There. There's another view of it. Let me go turn here. Now, to do this one, of course, there is there is uh, black here around that, and there's the black up here, okay, and I did, I sprayed the whole thing black, and then I masked off here, and I masked off there, and, uh, and then I painted over with the pink. Well, I did have the paint lift right here. You can see that. I mean, it's... The paint lifted on me. I think I let it dry too long, and and uh, that happened. And I didn't have any more pink because uh, I ran out on the rattle can and used that up. So I just left it. I suppose I could buy some pink and touch it up, but I'm just going to leave it for now. Um, there's the back end. I haven't put the plate on it yet. I'm going to do a plate with my wife's name on it. It should be kind of cool. And then this does open um, the hinges. It's part of the kit. That does open, and it comes with a speaker system that you can throw back there. My wife didn't want the speaker system, so we just kind of left it blank. I was thinking of maybe putting some grocery bags back there, but she didn't find that joke as funny as I did. <laughs> so anyway, that worked out well. Um, the interior, it was actually molded in gray, and I left it. I left it molded in gray. I thought maybe black would look kind of neat, but um, I settled for the, the gray. Um, and then, of course, it has your, your decal set for the dashes, and then your shifter knob. Um, oh, the front end there. There's the front end. Um, what else can I show on this one? Um, the underbody, you know, I did the exhaust in the underbody. Um, everything's molded in, you know, kind of a classic for these. Uh, the chassis was also all molded in black. So were the bumpers. Um, were all molded in black, so I didn't bother, um, uh, painting those at all. I just left them. And this was molded in black too. But uh, that's the, this is my wife's Hummer. Um, maybe someday I'll be able to buy her a real one, but for now, that's what she gets. So, uh, again, that's, that's the end of this one. Thank you for watching, and have a good evening.